Good morning, my awesome Wildcats. It is Friday, April 15th, 2022. Um, it's hard to believe we are already halfway through the month of April. We've only been back in school five days. We have had a fantastic first week back. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of how hard you're working. Keep up the great work. We're gonna end Friday strong. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by the boys and girls from Mrs. Hendricks' class. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job, second graders. Please remain standing for our moment of silence. Today, let's just bow our heads and think quietly to ourselves. Let's bow. Great job, everyone. You may be see, uh, remain standing for our Wildcat Creed, led by Mrs. Hendricks' second graders. Great job, everyone. Please have a seat. Today for lunch in the cafeteria, we're having pizza slice, pretzel with cheese, peanut butter sandwich, baby carrots, fruit and juice, fruit juice or milk. There we go. We have a couple students celebrating a birthday today or over the weekend, and we have a special staff member celebrating a birthday today. So celebrating their birthday today, Miss Lee, C. Lee Me is celebrating a birthday. Tomorrow on the 16th, Anna Noontal Parr is celebrating a birthday. Also tomorrow on the 16th, Dwayne Vanneman is celebrating his birthday. And on Sunday the 17th is Peter Leon's birthday. All those friends should stop by the office for their birthday surprise. We do have a special friend, a staff member celebrating her birthday, a very special happy birthday to Miss Za. If you see Miss Za around the building, be sure to tell her happy birthday. All right, boys and girls, especially my third, fourth, and fifth graders, right now I need everyone to listen to me, okay? Next week, we are taking I Learn, and I know I Learn is not that much fun. I get it, but we are so smart, and we are going to show everyone in Perry Township and the state of Indiana how great we are. But we need our Chromebooks to be charged in good shape and ready to go. So over the weekend, please, 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 Miss Steve and I are begging you, we're begging you, please take good care of your Chromebooks. Don't break them, don't spill them, don't drink, damage them. On Sunday night, before you go to sleep, plug your Chromebook in. Let it charge all night so it's ready to go. Actually, every night before you go to sleep, charge your Chromebook so that it's ready to go before you get to school. All right, if you have lost your bus lanyard or misplaced it or you don't know where it is, it is a $2 replacement. Miss Tasker is working on making them. And remember, we need those bus lanyards for the library, the cafeteria, and the bus. All right, uh, I taped this one on Wednesday night, so I don't know if we had any more perfect scores on Thursday, but I'll announce those on Monday. But again, keep up the good work, boys and girls. You're doing awesome. You're making me so proud. Keep it up. Show everyone how incredibly smart you are. All right, our chocolate sales are going well. Keep them up. Remember, boys and girls, once you've sold your first box and you return the $60 to me, I'll give you a second box. So that, remember, our goal is we want to help lower the cost of our fifth grade camp. So make sure you bring your candy bars and your, or your money after you sell all your candy bars. Boys and girls, don't forget, it is not too late to turn in your summer enrichment form. Remember, we have a fun summer activity for two weeks, June 6th through the 17th. Learning games, fun activities, prizes scheduled. So 
you can turn in your form until Tuesday the 19th. After the 19th, I cannot guarantee that you'll be able to come. So make sure you fill that form out, have mom and dad sign it. I know some of you may say, but Mr. Schneider, we're going on vacation. We're gonna be at the beach. Well, that's okay. And even if you can only come part of the time, I'd love to have you. So have mom and dad fill out those forms. If you've lost them, if you've misplaced them, if you need to bring them back or you need another one, let me let your teacher know, let me know so that we can get you signed up for summer enrichment. All right. Like I said earlier, when we were talking about Chromebooks, next week is I learn. We have been preparing for this moment all school year. This is the week, a little more than a week, that we show everyone in the state of Indiana how incredibly smart our boys and girls are. You know so much and I want you to show everyone else how smart you are, that we are not only the best in Perry Township, that we are some of the best in the state of Indiana. Now, it's gonna be tough. There are gonna be some hard, tricky questions, but you know what? You're smart, you're capable, you're strong, you're a wildcat, you can do this. But with that, I need you to be here. So next week, we're gonna have, actually the next two weeks, we're gonna have like an attendance competition. So every day, Mr. Schneider's going to attract the attendance. He is going to say, oh, Mr. Goss's class had five people absent, but Mr. Miller's class only had four people absent. But down in third grade, Mrs. Hurt's class had one person absent. absent. So right now, Mrs. Hurt's class is in the lead. So every day, I need you to be at school. I need you to be on time. That means you got to go to bed early. That means you got to wake up early. Now, boys and girls, I'll tell you this, if you're sick, if you're going, Bleh, I don't want you at school because I don't want you to get sick on, at the school or on anyone else. But I know sometimes, boys and girls, we wake up and we don't feel good, but we're really okay, or we just don't want to go. I need you here because the class or the classes that have the best attendance will win a party. And Mr. Schneider's maybe going crazy. The boys and girls who have perfect attendance for the next two weeks in the whole school, not just third, fourth, fifth. I'm including my first graders and my second graders. If you have perfect attendance for the next two weeks, I'm going to give you a popsicle later in the month of May. We'll have a special little popsicle party for those boys and girls who had perfect attendance for two whole weeks. So help your class get the attendance award for best attendance and earn a party. And even if your class doesn't win it, but you show up every day on time, ready to go for the next two weeks, you're gonna get a popsicle party, okay? So I need you on here. So if you get, if your mom and dad drive you and, and they're kind of moving slowly, you're like, mom, dad, we gotta go. We gotta be at school. We got to win that party. I want all of our kids here ready to learn so we can show everyone we are the best. We are the smartest. We are wildcats. Make it an awesome Friday. Be strong, be fierce, be courageous. Remember you can do it. I'm very proud of all of you. Have a great Friday. I will see you all on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye everybody.